wherever your shot line is, you should be snapping that ball as quickly as possible into the position your, both your hands like to be and into the center of your shot line. All right, let's see that in real time. This is just an example of where my shot line is. You can practice your collection off the hop, off the one, two, it doesn't really matter. You can do uh, hesitation dribbles, hard dribbles. This is just the beginner intro stuff that you're gonna wanna be practicing. So how do you practice this, you might ask? You just practice this one dribble collection over and over and over again, off many different dribble moves without shooting the basketball. And I just practice this by just walking around town. It doesn't matter what dribble move you do, you're going to always want to get the ball back to your shot line and your feet in the same position that you like to shoot from every time. Once I tighten up my dribble, I found that I was still having trouble bobbling the ball when I was trying to get into my shot off of progressively harder moves off the dribble. So practicing just collecting the ball no matter what dribble you're doing, you can start easy and then work your way up, is going to make you so much better at shooting. You're going to be quicker. You'll never bobble. And the cleaner your collection is, the better your shot is going to be. The important thing to note is that I'm always getting my hands back to the same position that I would shoot a free throw, and same thing with my feet. No matter what move I've come off, whether it's a step back or a step out, or a hesitation, or just a hard dribble, um, it's always going to look the same. So why did I include this crazy move? This is a move that I just invented, I think. I would never use this in a game. I'm just trying to show that the harder the dribble move you're doing, the harder the collection is going to be. And even after you collect the ball, it's going to be hard to get your feet where you want them, them to be set and to be on balance to go into your shot. The quicker you collect the ball, the more time you have to get your eyes sighting the rim and lining up your shot. Here's a cra crazy move that I invented to demonstrate um, the way that even if your last dribble is inconsistent, which it should be as consistent as possible, to get your shot off off of a clean collection and get into your shot pocket, by drilling your ability to just collect the ball and get back to your shot pocket, you will be able to improvise and you'll be able to deal with when you have an imperfect final dribble. And this is just an example of that. Some of these are totally botched. While you practice your collection, you'll actually be practicing your footwork. Because if you're a shooter that shoots with the turn, then you'll want your body to be in that natural turn motion even after a difficult dribble move. I chose to slow-mo this shot to end this video just to demonstrate that if your dribble move isn't on point, and for me this time it wasn't, that final dribble behind my back on the spin move, it was not where I wanted it to be. You can see with that right hand I had to go and grab that ball, but you still see that I was able to get it exactly how I like to shoot the ball and get my feet square the way I like to shoot.